Northeast Development Commission approving 3% of the VAT generated by the states put together. Every one of us know that 67 to 68 percent of VAT collected nationwide is gotten from Lagos. About two weeks ago, a bill was presented asking for 1 percent from the Federation account, only 1 percent to be able to assist Lagos. There is like a special economic assistance bill, which was presented by Senator Odure Mitinumbu. That bill was not passed, and it was to the serious objection of all Lagosians and well-meaning Nigerians. Perhaps I should mention at this point that Senator Lure Mitinumbu would have been with us here, but is conducting an oversight function outside the Senate. As a matter of fact, she is abroad as we are talking. And we believe that the two other senators, my humble self, Senator Lubinga Shafa, and my brother, the senator representing Lagos West, Senator Olamileko Adiola, should present our views, opinions as representatives of the people of Lagos to the press and all Nigerians that he who comes to a situation like this must be able to look at the issues affecting each section of the society and decide without any favor on whether what we brought forward to the Senate was really justifiable, I mean the 1 percent that we brought. We don't have any problems as far as the 3 percent approved today is concerned. But we are appealing to Nigerians to assist us in ensuring that they give us a listening here. I, will, I was not around during the plenary, and I want my brother, Senator Olamile Kwandiola Solomon, to give us the bit by bit activity event that happened today on the floor of the Senate. That by consensus, it has been agreed through our constituents and the entire people of Lagos State that we shall represent that bill. This time, Senator Lure Mitinumbu will lead. Two of us here and majority of the Senate, that is the 109 senators presently there, will back this um, bill. It is an important bill, and we are asking you to please give it the positive um, highlights that it deserves. Lagos belongs to all Nigerians. Thank you and God bless. Question that was discussed about the North East Commission bill. The report was run through clause by clause. And on clause, seven, on clause 15K, where it was boldly written, 3% of the federal government VAT be paid to the North East Establishment Commission for the next 10 years. Well, as my brother has said, there are other constituent sources of funding that have been proposed in the law. We have about 15% of what is accruable to the member state from the ecological fund account. 
we have budgetary allocation that will be made from the federal government that will be set aside by the federal government. We have 15% licensing fee of mining activities that is taking place in the member states and many, many more other sources as proposed in the bill. And what we are saying is this. Lagos approached the Senate with a 1% special economic assistance bill seeking the support and the understanding of the Senate that Lagos being the former federal capital of our, of our dear nation and that is the major economic capital of Nigeria as of today is under a lot of infrastructural pressure as a result of being the former federal capital of Nigeria. And what we are seeking or asking for with the special economic assistance is for the understanding that every one of us, either one way or the other, have relations and families that reside in Lagos. And today, there is population explosion as far as Lagos is concerned. Everybody still believes the only state in Nigeria where you can live and make ends meet and you have families and relations reside there is Lagos State. And that upon that, we have approached the Senate to support and show understanding with us as a state that the 1% special economic assistance we are requesting or asking for is in the overall interest of Nigeria and not overall interest of the state. But as you can see on that very day, the bill was not given the light of the day. It was stepped down. So this time around, when the Senate came up with the idea of 3% VAT of the federal government being paid to the Northeast Commission. Yes, with due respect to our brothers in the Northeast, with the unfortunate incident of the Boko Haram that is happening, and the devastating state the, state is, uh, the member states are currently. We sympathize with them. But looking at those various sources that have been set aside in the uh, bill to take care of this, I believe, strongly believe, that if we, we is the contributor of over 70 to 75 percent of this vertable income to the federal government coffers, it's only asking for one percent special economic assistance from the federal government fund. I think it is not out of place. It is on this note that you witness what transpired against our reaction on the floor today that says in strong terms that we, as a representative of the people, just today, before I go forward, the page 22 or 23 on Poch newspaper. There was an editorial on this same issue uh, concerning the 3% VAT and the 1% special status. There were com uh, the issues being raised, and people are saying, why is Lagos being you know, neglected? And we are using this medium to let you know what really transpired. That we, as a representative of the people of Lagos State, are still con calling on the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to still look inward and accommodate Lagos as the federal cap former federal capital of our country and the commercial nerve center of this nation, which is contributing more than 70 or 80 percent to the gross domestic product of this country. And look inward, accommodate us, and let us reintroduce this bill to the Senate for their consideration so that they can see the light of the day and Lagosians and every Every well-meaning Nigerian who reside in Lagos can see us as a true representative of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that is Senate as a whole. Thank you.